fill out for your information and reference. Uh, a little bit of detail on each of the sites that we plan to have work going on for the following year. So as we talk about Site 6, we'll have that radiological final status survey report 2016. Uh, and of course, that will be followed up by remedial action for the chemicals of concern listed there. And then of course, uh, we will do some annual groundwater monitoring for the site uh, after we actually do the remedial action. For Site 12, uh, as usual, it's uh, all about the ongoing work in the solid waste disposal areas uh, with, of course, the, uh, the Gateview area, uh, TPH uh, arsenic excavation. Uh, something we're adding there, of course, is the solid waste disposal area review action completion report in 2016. So we will finally be issuing a report to complete that non-time critical removal action. Right. And I want to say just a couple things on this. So the Navy does appreciate and does understand that many of you that live in the community, um, including my community co-chair, Mr. Alice, that, that we're in the neighborhood and there are certain inconveniences that come along with the Navy cleanup. We understand that. We have really worked hard uh, um, to try and minimize those. And so when Chris Yantos and, his, and the contractor is done in these solid waste holes, that will be a huge milestone, a huge chunk when Chris can button up those holes we can actually do a completion report. That's a that is a major achievement for us, and some that like Becky, who puts up with us at North Point, will be very happy to see. So that that would be a major milestone in the program to have completely excavated the solid waste disposal areas, done complete surveys for the circular contaminants and the radiological items, and then be able to uh, say at the end of the day we have a completion report and we're done. And that's where most of the stuff is. So, and then we will move on, as, as we indicated earlier, uh, to the remainder of, of Site 12, which consists mostly of the neighborhood, and, and doing some of the uh, cleanup we have to there. Now again, this is going to be huge, uh, this program, because when we do the Gateview work area, we're going to be demoing three more buildings, and we are going to be digging a big hole to get to the weathered petroleum. Uh, and that's really, we've talked very much with the regulators, we've, We've gone round and round about this, about how to do it, and we are now convinced that that is the best way, the surest way to do this, to get to the to, uh, closure of this site. Uh, so, so, Kate, I know you don't want well, me to interrupt, but yeah. what you are saying is you are actually going to remove as much as you can rather than try to treat it with a chemical and leave it in place. Is that correct, Dave? Yeah, that yes. Correct. Well, yes, and we're also going to use oxygen release compound, ORC, okay. Okay. in conjunction with that. So in conjunction, not... but you are doing more removal. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it would be fair to say we're doing about 90% removal, like you said, okay. and then, but 10% of, of something Whatever else. Whatever is left over, you're going to treat. Exactly. Next slide. 